During both national conventions, we've seen hats, buttons, T-shirts, bobbleheads, a number of things promoting the candidates. But how about washing your face with Donald Trump's soap or lighting your home with a Hillary Clinton lamp? Those are actual political mementos from past elections. And Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich says thousands of them are on display at a museum here in Indiana. A walk through these rooms in Logansport... Is that one of the ones over here? I'm not sure. ...is like entering a time machine filled with pieces of politics past. Reddish button there. Buttons, bobbleheads and bandanas, songbooks, soap and scissors. There are playing cards, there are license plates, and there are canes carved with the faces of the candidates. This is a collection of campaign memorabilia amassed over decades. I think you got it, got it in Ohio. Cincinnati. And it all belongs to Sue and Julian Ridlin. It's only until we were able to open up the space that we really knew what we had. Their two-story museum has thousands of items that date back to the 1790s, some acquired by chance. You constantly have to be looking. Most by design. The Ridlins started collecting as kids. Both came from political families and both loved history. So when they met in Washington, D.C. I said, what kind of collection do you have? No, we <laughs> no. didn't say that at all. <laughs> Merging lives and hobbies fit just like the ideal running mate. The collecting for me is almost a passion. Julian is, he becomes more the student of the items than I think sometimes I am. They say each memento tells a story. Uniquely American, the items let people feel the political process, especially long ago. That a person could wake up in the morning and turn on a, a, a lamp beside the bed and it has the image of their candidate. They go to the wash basin and the gentleman of the house picks up a straight razor and on its blade is emblazoned the image of his candidate. It touched every conceivable way that you could communicate. Including cartoons and caricature that provide a critical look at candidates. He asserted the Bernie Sanders of 1896. The Ridlands say mementos may change, but not political themes even in this election year. That's why they love what they do and love their exhibit. I enjoy the, the collecting and it's not unusual to, to come down and just sit and look around just because it's fun. A tangible way to experience history. In Logansport, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.